kind of give me an overall of what happened here tonight? Uh, we were called to a, a potential structure fire. When we arrived on scene, we found the house behind me uh, that was very well involved in fire uh, on our arrival. Okay. What did what had you guys been doing uh, since six o'clock when the fire started? Uh, exactly, uh, as far as equipment and uh, necessary resources to get this fire extinguished. Initial responding units respond to the uh, to the structure itself and uh, start uh, putting water on the fire. And uh, with this area here, large uh, uh, large lots. Uh, that are spaced far between with uh, long driveways, water supply becomes an issue. Uh, we had a significant uh, number of units assigned to specifically water supply uh, to uh, make sure that we didn't run out of water uh, to put this fire out. What was the closest water supply? Uh, I would have to speak with the uh, water supply uh, uh, officer for that one. I don't know. Did they set up uh, tanks? Yes, we had, uh, well, I don't know if they set up tanks, but we had six different units that were rotating between the closest water supply uh, and, and supplying the engine behind me here. Was anybody here at the time? Not to my knowledge, no. Okay, have they been able to get in touch with anybody who owns the property? Not to my knowledge, no. Okay, I know that some of the neighbors were here. Uh, were they the ones who called this in? I don't know specifically who called it in. Okay, and what are you guys working on now? I still see the uh, house burning back there, but I'm guessing at this point it's mostly just defensive? The entire structure, the entire uh, operation was a defensive uh, operation. Uh, we did not commit anybody into the house because of the amount of fire that was uh, involved in this house uh, when we arrived. If you had to guess, how big is this house? Between six to 7,000 square feet. That's terrible. All right, I think that'll be Beautiful. Thank you.